right, thank you. My name is Rob, and I'm going to talk about beer culture and putting beer on the dinner table, because you cannot have a great city without a great beer culture. Are you guys with me? Yeah. All right. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose a few of you right now, um, because uh, I'm going to show them. Well, the next slide isn't coming up. Come on. I lost some of you, right? This is store-bought beer culture. This is not real, OK? This beer tastes like the iced tea of beer. The right time and place for that beer is 1893 when they won the uh, Blue Ribbon, right? <laughs> beer is the new wine. That's BS. It's not the new wine. Beer is the old beer. Beer is 10,000 years old. It was a staple food. And we're going to put it back on the table. Beer has carbonation, right? It lifts flavors off your tongue so that every time you bite, you enjoy something new. That's why they have it at brunches, by the way, champagne, because you have different transitional flavors. Beer is a bakery. You ever go into a brew house and just have that smell? That's bread, because it's liquid bread. There's crust, <laughs> there's, crust there's bread, there's biscuits, there's yeast. All those flavors are in food. Beer is your favorite coffee house. Those grains can be roasted to give you coffee, toffee, chocolate, caramel, and that thick, luscious, rich body and mouthfeel. It's all in beer. <laughs> beer is a fruit stand. A, ho a hoppy IPA has the flavors of tangerines, lemons, uh, grapefruits. Uh, spices of beer in a trip will give you these uh, white grapes and pears and apples. Uh, dark fruits can also come from beer as well. Beer is a spice store. Do you ever have like a Pilsner with a Saz hop that's very snappy or a rye PA that's got that snappy rye flavor? There's also yeast driven uh, cloves and peppers and some Belgian beers. There are 800 flavors and a thousand aromas associated with beer. If your restaurant can't work with that and they give this Bud Miller Coors, all you're getting is rice, corn, and water. So this is how we're going to do it. When you pair, you need to contrast flavors and you need to um, match flavors. Uh, there's sweetness in beer and bitterness in beer. So we'll keep it simple like that uh, so that you can pair, just like there's sweet and sour in food. You want flavor intensities to match. You don't want to you don't want to have a wit beer, a nice delicate wit beer, and have it run all over, you know, or uh, have it be overwhelmed by a rack of ribs. You don't want to have a bourbon barrel stout with uh, a salad. Okay, so high intensity here. Sharp uh, blue cheese and a double IPA with a lot of bitterness and a lot of hoppiness. Do you know why they uh, pair wine with cheese? Because the cheese sits in your mouth, there's no carbonation. So a cheap wine tastes great. <laughs> okay, lighter intensity. Coriander in a wit and uh, orange peel uh, matches the spices in, um, in this salad and uh, carbonation cuts through the oil. So again, every time you eat, fresh taste. Oh. God, it's a seaweed salad. What am I going to do? Uh, there's spiciness in that, and there's sesame. And the carbonation cuts through the oil. Uh, this is an uh, anchor steam, and it's got a woody flavor from the hops, and those match the uh, sesame seeds. OK, we're going matchy-matchy here. Um, this is a yam beer. It's sweet, and uh, the bun is sweet, and that's a pork belly, and there's caramel. And we just let the other relishes take care of cutting the sweetness. The most interesting thing about this is, this pork dish is, it's got arugula, which is bitter, and it's got some sharp cheddar. And that's a classic English pale ale, has that long, lingering bitterness. So those things play off each other nicely. OK, old school, um, or excuse me, macho school, you go IPA and amp up those spices, right, and, and that heat. Old school, you go with a negra modelo, and that, match, uh, that balances things out. And then you can actually taste the uh, roasted chili flavors. OK, Belgian yeast, Belgian waffle, banana, um, caramel, allspice. Am I talking about the beer? Am I talking about the Belgian waffle? We don't know. That's brunch, by the way. That's how you do it. OK, do we go banana vanilla, or do we go chocolate coffee vanilla? You do both. It's, it's, a, it's, a, beer nana, it's a beer nana split with, um, with, a, with a cappuccino. All right, th this is where we're talking about beer culture. Uh, I want to know, I can't eat at every restaurant, and I want to know where you guys eat and where you're seeing beer culture expressed. And I'm so glad I followed Kimber because let's just keep it local. Thank you. Yeah.